Basically, my kitchen's a mess right now, and I'm kind of lazy to clean it up. Okay, so welcome back. Today's video is honestly, it's a mess. Like, okay, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making, we're gonna be doing a cook with me, and basically just gonna be cooking coconut noodles and tea. And then, to spice up the video and maybe finish it off, we're gonna do, like, learning TikTok dances, like, what I did, like, a year ago. Well, not exactly a year ago, but, like, in a way, a year ago. That's basically what we're gonna be doing today. So, we're just gonna get started with cooking the coconut rolls. So, yeah. Okay, so let me just boil the water first, because that's, like, basically what you need to do to make the coconut rolls. Okay, so while that's boiling, we're going to talk, because, like, like, there's... Okay, maybe we should talk like after it boils. Is that? A oh wait, I need to show you this, please. That ASMR <laughs> pouring. We're just gonna put a plate over the thing to let it cook for like, about two minutes. That's what my family usually does. We just put a plate over it, and that's it. And boom, you're ready to eat. So. As I was saying, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about my absence from YouTube because I've been like, well not now, but like you've seen a cycle where I would post a video and then I would leave for like two months. And it was a very unhealthy schedule. I guess at that time I was very uninspired and I also didn't come up with content, which is another thing that's like a disadvantage of becoming a YouTuber. Like you don't think of like YouTube video ideas, like you end up recycling other people's ideas and turning them into your own, which I'm doing right now. Like I'm just like making, I guess two. Like it's a it's a video hybrid where I'm just mixing my TikTok video and I guess a cook me video and I'm mashing them together to make this freaking load of crap right here. And we're just gonna see how it goes because honestly, this video like I've been filming for a minute and so far I've gotten like a good amount of content out. So. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I plan on uploading every week, which I think it's it's a good goal for like doing every week because I try I did that for like a month, which was like around April May time. No, like March April around like the start of quarantine when was when I started actually like posting content, and then I just ended up giving up around June, like around the summer months. Like that was when. I completely stopped filming because I mean, it was like summertime and uh, obviously but obviously we didn't have as much fun as we did like over the past few years obviously because of quarantine and we're back on our third freaking lockdown and I can't believe like I just people are not responsible enough to keep themselves at home when it's really like like if you want to stay at home just stay at home like there's nothing really else to do like today there was around 1k cases today and I mean it's an improvement but like I feel like we should work harder as a community to fight the virus so I guess the, no the next thing we could talk about is my schedule um I will be posting every week but I do have my junior year coming up I don't even know if it's gonna happen this year but if it does come up I am gonna be studying like pretty pretty often from I guess this month onwards so if I don't post regularly like as in a week You'll know why. I did have two of these today, so my sodium levels are going up. Oh. I want to I wanna drink tea as well, because tea is so good. On my last video, you saw that I did express my love for tea. Coffee is not my bae. I know I did try to like coffee last year. Um, I liked it for a week, and it's been like that ever since. Let me just get my mug, and I'm going to make my tea. I'm like really hyper today. I don't know what's up with that. Like no one wants me to be hyper as hell. Like usually, like I guess, like my content has, my content has changed in a way. Um, hold on, I need to like fix up a bit, like over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let that settle for about like two minutes. And then I'm just gonna take out the tea bag. Okay, so what I was saying, I think my content has evolved like over the past two years. Like I've been on YouTube for about two years, and the content has changed um, gladly. Like I guess you you've seen like like not a pattern, but like you've seen stages of my life. Um, like the first three videos, there are evidence that I was a fan of Joe and Acedia, and then for like the chunk of 
quarantine, I was like a fan of Ember Chamberlain. And then now I'm evolved, like I haven't fully evolved yet, but I feel like I'm at the point in my YouTube channel where I know what path I'm taking. Like, I guess like when I first started YouTube, I never really s expected to continue. Like I thought it was a one job, like one video thing, but it ended up turning into this and it's going well. Second video, third video actually of 2021. And I am kind of scared to see how this path will take me. Um, Cause we still have 11 months to go until 2022. And I'm gonna be in the fourth year and I'm gonna be freaking 60 next year and that's freaking crazy. We're just gonna you're just gonna see my life kind of like pass through your heads. But I'm not like the type of person to be like, oh clickbait shit, like eh. people that clickbait are like, like what are you asking for? Like what do you do for a living? Like who are you? I don't like my tea too strong because it just overpowers my senses a bit. But uh that's my like cook with me i mean it's my first one here it is like boom boom um i need to eat these now because obviously it's gonna get cold and no one likes cold freaking noodles bye oh yeah and by the way like i've never actually fully done a one-on-one -on -one talk like with you guys like i've mainly just been i'm like my first video i haven't watched it in a long time thankfully like oh my ears would have been harassed in a way okay I'm just gonna finish off my food and then I'll see you for the TikTok dances. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I guess, okay, whoa, I look disgusting. Um, that's not really that surprising, but okay, I look pale. I'm really getting off topic here, but um, this part of video is very like confusing. Like I just did a cook with me and like a bit of personal shit. And then I moved on to a TikTok like frenzy. I don't know how I managed to do that, but, um, it's just, it's a very confusing part of the video where you just gotta, like, stop the video for, like, 30 seconds. It's just, it's this very, con like, confusing part of the video that I don't really like, um, but I just added it in for the funsies of it, so I'm just gonna warn you, just amen to you. Good luck. <laughs> Like, I'm very dark, but, okay, the first sense we're gonna be doing is... Ooh, my hair do be looking ugly. Okay, so the first sense we're gonna be doing is YOR and Ezra Remix. It's a pretty popular TikTok dance that a lot of people have been doing, and obviously I haven't been doing it because I don't have TikTok, and surprising enough, um, I just don't have TikTok because I don't have the time. I don't have the storage to do it. And I think it's a waste of time. Um, but no, see, I just watch TikTok on YouTube because I know TikTok is free, but uh, I'm, just, I'm not a fan of making TikTok content, okay? Um, but we're just gonna do the dance because that's what you pay me to do. That's what you pay me for, okay? Let's learn it. <laughs> okay, so it's like good. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, so it's like, you have to like shake your hips like that. So yeah, so it's basically like, it's like wiggle, wiggle, but then you're doing this. Or like just like that. Okay, let me try again. Cause like this dance is not that hard, it doesn't look that hard, but I can't underestimate that, okay? This video is a mess. Oh my God, remember that challenge in like 2014 when everyone did this? It was like, I don't want to do it. It's like baby blue. It's where like you go into a mirror and you just say baby blue like 10 times. And then supposedly you're going to feel like a baby in your arms. And Obviously, as children, we believed it at the time, and obviously, it wasn't real. Um, I shouldn't say that because one of the baby comes to forget me. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to recreate it one last time because we do have hope, we do have second chances, but I don't think it's gonna work for me, so that's right. <laughs>
I'm very sloppy with my moves. I mean, I feel like uh, an amateur would have butchered it better than me, but I'm very like out of breath. I I don't know why. Okay, like, oh my god. Like, we need to chill. It's 1 a.m. I don't want to do my life. My life has to essential Good, they're intelligent. Okay, I think I got it. This video reminds me of like quarantine, like mid quarantine of last year. That was like one hell of a ride for me. Shouldn't go down that path again. Okay, so we're just gonna keep the outro nice and short. Help you. Enjoy today's video. Honestly, it was a mess, but we got through it in the end. I honestly have nothing else to say. Have a good day. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay home and thrive at your household. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.